Hello, this is Professor Phil giving you a bachelor's degree in business. This video will be on corporate finance. Feel free to come visit my website at introductiontocorporatefinance.blogspot.com. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Today's corporate finance lesson is on decimal versus percentage. So there's two things that we need to know. First is how do we convert from decimal to percentage or back and forth. And the second is what, how does a financial calculator what do they want to see a percentage or a decimal so first 10 percent equals 0 0.10 as a decimal so you know you could take that 20 percent equals 0 0.20 30 percent 0 0.30 so you just move the decimal place over two places so that's a real quick and easy way to uh, convert percentage to decimal and uh, when you use a financial calculator Financial calculators do percentages. They convert it all for you. They do all the work for you. Actually, a financial cal calculator is an extremely good investment because you don't have to do these kind of calculations that are really simple, but things that are really simple are really easy to forget or make a silly mistake on. So just want to leave that with you guys. So until next Hey, Professor Phil here. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. I just want to mention a couple things before you go. Uh, I think that will help students or potential students. So the two questions that are on everybody's mind is how do I pay for school and as a student am I, am I really ready to pass all these courses? Because when you get in the 300, 400 level university courses or graduate degrees, stuff like that, they get pretty tough. So I want to recommend a couple things from Professor Phil uh, for you to check out. And you can check them out if you want. I'm not, not trying to force anybody. So just want to kind of recommend a couple things. So the first product I want, want to recommend is, look, these people, they've taken the scholarships. They actually say we can guarantee scholarships. And they, they've taken all the scholarships and put them into one complete source. So you can get scholarships in one location. You don't got to go here. You don't got to go there. You can just find them in one spot. So, I mean, why pay for school with your own money when you can pay for it with someone else's money? That's just my opinion, but. And so, the second thing is, you know, am I ready as a student? So, you know, we've all spent hours and hours just in the library, just going over and over material and like memorizing it. And it takes forever and we all hate doing it. So, I, uh, I recommend a, a memory course that uh, helps people retain what they learn. And it's a memory training course. and. Uh, you know, if that's your problem, uh, maybe, maybe there's people out there who are A students. I'm not one of them, and I need all the help I can get. So, you know, if, if you're like me, you might want to check it out. So, just wanted to leave those two things with you. For the links, just uh, check my site underneath this video. I'll have both links posted. And uh, check it out if you want to check it out. All right, until next time.